And TxDOT reports a vehicle crash happens every minute here in Texas. And oftentimes first responders wind up pulling out the jaws of life to rescue people who are trapped. Our Marissa Cummings shows us tonight how that equipment works. That sound usually doesn't put a person's mind at ease, but when you're trapped in your car with no way out, it means help has arrived. If we're unable to open the opposite doors, then we uh, bring in the jaws and we'll, we'll remove the doors. The jaws he's referring to are a set of high powered tools with 200,000 pounds of cutting force and are secured to the side of the fire engines. ESD2 practices using the equipment monthly. JP Hominick is in charge of the rescue trainings. He says as cars become more advanced, so do the tactics used to save the lives in them. All our older vehicles that were all once made out of just steel, which all these can cut just fine, are now being made out of a whole bunch of new, stronger, lighter weight alloys. So what we need to learn where our cut points are going to be at, where how we can push points are going to be. Now it's time to put them to the test. Good to go on my end. Before beginning, the firefighters cover the victims in their car to shield them from debris and explain what's about to happen. To talk loud because a, a lot of loud equipment and things been going around you. You understand everything? Yep, got it. So let's go to reveal. Let's go. Oh, oh, my oh my goodness. Then they're off. In a matter of minutes, a team of firefighters can free a victim from their car. We always try to work off what's what's safe, what's efficient, and then we work on our fast. Um, you know, fast will come later, but if we can be efficient and safe in what we're doing, then we're, we're good. In 2019, ESD2 had nearly 40 auto rescues. Marissa Cummings, 3 News. I hope you never have to hear that sound. That's, exactly. that's just awful. A pretty cool insight right there. Yeah.